Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. We're here for a quick in and out 15 minute adventure. Hopefully the length of this video uh, that you can see and I can't doesn't, you know, say the opposite to that. Let's have a look. Do we have any cards over 20? No, but we do have some production cards and a card that requires energy tags. We can start with one energy tag. Uh, not so bad, Robinson. Buying productions is nice. We certainly don't want to buy energy production, though. Um, money production is one of those things you really like to find as Robinson. Losing money production is less cool. Gaining it is cool. This is kind of not great, actually. You just take the TR, the Earth Tags. I, I like Sulfur Research. I like Caretaker, but there's nothing here that says that we're going to need those or be in a position where we can use them. Asteroid mining or asteroid here. Maybe. I think we buy a Titanium Income before we can't do that through other clicks. We get our Fuel Factory. I want these, I want this. Going minus one hurts, but the fact that I can go plus one enables me to get steel and other incomes. So, man, we really need to get knocked to city this game. I could have played things differently if I picked up steel. I don't know that that's what I want to do. Let me just get the three income. Let's not worry about the heat for one gen here. Hold on to a couple dollars and see what we get. See what we get. Maybe there's something in it for us that's going to be cute. We'll do the standard heat bumps. Uh, elevator. I mean, look, some terraforming is nice. Another minus one on money income is not nice. Getting a steel income should be easy. I just can't do it this gen because I wouldn't have a steel to sell anyway. Still, it's likely worth playing a black polar dust down here for some titanium and getting that steel income and then next gen will be well positioned for our big ol' space elevator. It would have been nice to get the earth tag I'm realizing now because I do have the money per earth tag, so the minus one, plus one, but honestly, going for tempo is just better for us overall anyway. I'm gonna do one more tap to get heat set up, to get that plus one. Mining rights is gonna go well down here for titanium. Extremophiles is convenient, and honestly, a, a resource card to help us with uh, Venus is quite nice. How far off are we from you? Nine bucks. Five. I think I can play Mining Rights, don't use the steel, grab the Titanium, get the Water Adjacency, and then don't use this steel exactly on the money, then we sell for five, baby, and now we can buy an income. Let's go for the plants. All right, looks like we need some Venus help, looks like we could benefit from some oceans, oxygen's always high on the list, I don't know what we need help with. I might take an oxygen or a venus I, i'm gonna go venus because i think there's more venus terraforming cards that require minimum venus amounts i have a couple of good uh cards offered to me already this could be the second energy tag i need for titanium i already have a lot of space tag stuff so i'm not too worried about it You and you. I can definitely play both of you. I just don't know if getting four energy income is better than getting all this heat income. I'd like to do this next gen when I'm set up to take the free card. I'll have more titanium next gen. So, like, honestly, like, save your scissors. Unless... No, we don't have money back, so this is never going to have enough for us to get. Just get our six energy income, baby. Not that many earth tags. We're chilling. Now the question is, do I take that Venus bump to set up the card draw? Like I just said I wanted, or... And this is what I think I'm going to do. 
I'm gonna bump heat to have the plus one here. Now I don't think I didn't grab four dollars for a money income just now. And it doesn't look like I have a choice. Unless I just grab Noctis City, which I said I wanted. An asteroid. Noctis City would give me the money income so I could buy more effective bonuses. I think we do that and we pair it with a asteroid to make sure that we maximize adjacencies, uh, plants all the way up to a greenery. I'm going to get money back on that. And now I can buy a steel or a plant. I'm going to go for plants. And next turn we'll have five more titanium and we'll be ready for the orbital reflectors with a plus one card draw lined up, maybe even an asteroid. Like, we're in a good spot. Now, I forgot to do the Gen 4 audit because I remembered at the start of the generation and the end of this generation, but we can still do it. Um, we are starting the game with 14 TR, so we're plus 11, then 3 money income. That's 14 money income, $12 worth of titanium, or $2 worth of steel, but I'd rather just say no money worth of steel because we can trade that steel for 5 cash straight up. So that is 11, 3, and 5 is $19 worth of cash money plus another $12 worth of titanium. I mean, that is insane. That is like the $30 of economic standing. In terms of heat and energy, I have more than 5 overall. I have 5 and 5 for 10 total. That's great. 2 plant income, little greenery, and a couple oceans on the board already. No more oceans in hand. But quite frankly, this is, this is way better than a lot of our stars. We do have a... Um, card that can synergize for Venus. I'm kind of hoping that we get something that helps us put floaters out faster, but we got to get started on that soon. Honestly, the fact that we're one generation ahead doesn't really matter. I think that we're in a great spot. We still have upside on Robinson. Like, this is a really strong run, I have to say. There isn't like an obvious like points multiplier or like TR thing, but we actually got a lot of generic TR just from our, if I scroll back up the log, uh, three TR from our prelude and then two here from a, a red card. So we're in a good spot. I'm going to take that Venus. Restricted area, cartel, I mean, fine. Symbiotic fungus, maybe. I don't mind a cheap city, but let's let's not, because it's not cheap, because I have to buy all these other things. Um, I really need some earth tags to, like, get the whole earth thing popping off. Let's draw some cards. It's really just not happening. Now we could ore processor, but nothing stops me from doing that next gen potentially. Do I have two cards that I'm willing to sell? Not really. I have worms I would sell, but the thing is I still need heat, so letting not playing ore processor feels right to me. I get a steel income for four dollars if I just click my my button, but then then I'm like not able to play any of my fun cards, you know. And again, I could get to two Earth tags and then get Miranda Resort as well, but we really need at least one more Earth tag to make this all worthwhile. If I'm willing to sell worms. Well, I have two micro cards here. I don't know. I was going to hopefully like play Force Precipitation and then sell Worms to play at this gen, but I think I'm just going to be lame. We'll just get a microbe and pass. It's okay. We're just waiting on a couple things to um, fire us off. And honestly, money was one of them. Take an oxygen bump. Decomposers, greenhouses, honestly, I'll take an indentured as well. I'll take all this. I'm buying so many cards, which is what's making it, like, difficult to go after stuff. But, come on, earth tag. I mean, an earth tag, but 
I guess I need to say Earth Egg on a green or blue card. Let's do a big ol' asteroid. Nine titanium, get four back. And then... I know the asteroid gives me money back, too. Well, I mean, it gives money back. We should do it. And then take the last four titanium over here. Mass converter. I mean, look, I only have two science tags, but would be nice. I'm going to buy another steel income or plant income? Plant income, because we're certainly on a break point. And then symbiotic. I can wait to get a boost on from decomposers next gen. Again, these earth tags are just making me sad. Like there's so much potential. And then forced precipitation, I've been the two dollars shy of actually being able to put the floater on it after purchasing car the card that I just haven't really been able to connect. Let's keep getting some help on that oxygen track. Too late for self replicating right no i could solar shade so two on this gen four on gen nine eight on gen 10 16 on gen 11 and 32 on gen 12 and then that card is is free i could do that on large convoy even yeah that's that's good it's ten dollars for 32 dollars um, all this can go away. I'd love to get this TR to help me get to my 63 target, but I don't think that that's where we're going right now. I think what we need to do is self-replicating robots. I should buy a card too. Lava tube settlement. I don't mind that. We can put that here later. Um, self-replicating robots four large convoy now that's going to be an ocean and five plants unless i get like a one point animal or something decomposers into symbiotic and then large convoy okay no i've already done the click still no earth tags still no earth tags but this is two plant income worth of worms So like that's that's cool we can we can start uh or processor now enough heat has gone over we ended up getting the large asteroid and then we bought a normal asteroid i think it's fine man cartel is such a sad one not to have been played but with miranda resort in hand i just can't get another earth tag to make it worthwhile and at this point, it would need to be two other Earth Tags to make it worthwhile. And those Earth Tags better be, like, individually contrib like contributing. Like, ah, uh, it's, it's a whole thing. This is all fine, though. I don't mind this. I, uh... Yeah. Okay. People checking in. All right, so the science tag could help us get where we want to go. I don't know what I want to cycle, though. I grab the energy in case we need it. Like, if we start playing cards that require energy, it would be nice. But I think... Oh, let's do our clicks first. We have card draw coming in. We've got steel to sell. We've got robots that we're always going to be doubling. An oxygen bump. Venus Insects is nice. I mean, that'll be something worth enhancing for points. That could help us get to the 100 point threshold. Um, am I really going to play Lava Tube Settlement? Like, I really want to. Get rid of the power. It's fine. Zeppelins is worth trading away as well. I don't really want Zeppelins. Well, look. Um, at this point, it's forced precipitation. It's 
uh, giant solar shade. It's Venusian insect is worth playing because we have two cards to enhance microbes on it. So if I play you, Venusian insect, Venusian insect. Now I can buy a steel income for four dollars. It's probably worth doing. I know that I have a plant income and a Venus bump here, but those microbes aren't critical. And then... Lava Tube Settlement lets me buy energy, which, I don't know, might be relevant. If I know I want it, then I can get it now, and that gets me an oxygen this gen. It also could be a card. I'm gonna go for the plants, though. Because I still need help on Venus. I just need a lot of help on oceans more than anything right now. So I think I'm going to get um, some ocean support. I was thinking about putting it for the cards, but down here is fine. More Venus bumping. Again, we need like a, a floater synergy card, but I already have a floater card. So I, I think this is not worth doing. Do I have things that will use titanium? Not really, but this is not it. Uh, that's not a card I want to end up needing to play. And it might not be up to me, but that is how I feel. Let's see, more Ven like more uh, TR bumping is nice. Let's bump the oxygen, which will bump the heat, which will bump the oceans. I'm actually going to go for the two card spot. Advanced ecosystems, I mean fine, but I don't have a animal tag. You can imagine. It's pretty sad. Um, I'm not going to be able to get this done in time. I'm going to have to pause, dang it. I could see CEO's favorite project, Force Precipitation, but that wouldn't get me to two bumps because I need an extra round to load the fourth floater on it. Man, this is a hard game. I'm going to buy a greenery because I think we need them. It'll get me a plant, which will get me a card. Honestly, methane from Titan is two points, and it's half a greenery bump, half a heat bump. That's that's worth it to me. Um, we can throw microbes down to Venusian. That's that's allowed. Buy a energy or a titanium. I think I go energy. Just to make sure we stay at nice and above. Now Venus soils would have been nice to play. No energy or no science tags to cycle is sad, and mass converter is still out of reach. I just don't feel that I need to play any of these cards. Like at this point, Cartel and Miranda Resort are just jokes, you know? Like I don't plan on playing more cities, so I guess just for the sake of tempo. But that doesn't even give me a greenery. Why'd I do that? If, uh, yeah, okay, never mind, that was a mistake. I could play more cities next gen and then feel sorry for myself for having less micro, or less plants. Um, another ocean? Give me good pockets for them. Yes, a Venus bump. No to everything else. I mean, I guess I could have bought the cheap city, but the, it comes with minus two points, so it would have been just to to move around. Move around. Get up, get up, get up, get down. Um, I'm going to play Robotic Workforce for the card cycle. I'm going to just use it for energy. Cartel, there's just like no way you're going to be good. 
unfortunately. Lightning Harvest is not good either. We're just not getting it, fam. Just not getting it. I could buy some standard project oceans at this point. It would appear as though everything else has worked out. Ah, oh, man. Buying titanium income is pointless, basically. An expensive Venus bump for more plants. I mean, look. Aquifer. Aquifer. I have one coming in hand that's being discounted right now. But that's basically it. Like, we just have to do... A Venus bump and then a Venus bump here and we've played a lot of big Venus bumping cards so yeah so yeah and I need a lot of heat too I'll take a Venus bump here though we'll see where we get an earth tag an earth discount tag even oh my god I don't know we might have we might get the game anyway I'll still grab a card though see what happens I thought this would be further along, no? Okay, yeah, 32. Uh, no animals, so we can't get this. No discounts. Basic, just, just no, no, no. Um, large convoy, just place it here. I guess we're grabbing plants. Imported nitrogen. It's pretty good too. Again, we have no uh, animals, but Venusian insects is is love and life here. Um, yeah, okay. I don't know. I could have grabbed another titanium from doing that click, I guess. But here we go. Uh, Venus bump. Venus bump, asteroid, asteroid, couple extra TR, and then I have a couple things. This one's three points, this one's two points. I have a whole bunch of cards, basically. So let's just do a quick, this could be a point, but who cares. Yeah, just a quick peek. If I sold two more cards, I would still be just short. So, yeah, we'll just grab the luxury foods. One, two, and this last microbe is wasted. Can't get this to a break point, can't get that to a break point. Um... Yo, let's go. We also can't get three uh, plants from a placement, so we're one plant away from getting an extra, extra greenery, and we don't have that many cities. I really should have taken the city that was minus two points, the corporate stronghold, but still, trifecta, three of a kind, 63 TR, full terraform, and everything. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.